Hi, uh, my name is Gaurang Shah. I am an associate professor of radiology in the division of neuroradiology at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. I had to make that decision in early 80s. So uh, I finished my uh, MBBS in 1982 and uh, my internship in 1983. And I had to decide what residency to choose for, for my post-graduation. And it was around the time that computers were just coming along and it was very fascinating uh, to look at a PC and the kind of stuff that it can do. Uh, at the same time, very recently, a CT scan was invented. Now, CT scan is nothing but combination of uh, X-rays with computer. And uh, X-rays have certain limitations. All you can see are air or bones. Uh, it cannot see soft tissue organs in the body in greater detail. So when you look at an X-ray, you don't get the complete picture. But with CT scan, uh, it was fascinating to see different organs and body parts uh, on paper in a way because those were the days of films uh, without any invasive procedure. So I was really drawn to a CT scan. Uh, those, those technological innovation actually drew me to radiology and I made up my mind to be a radiologist. I uh, finished my residency from VS Hospital uh, in Ahmedabad in 1987. Uh, it was a four-year residency and then I did a couple of years of fellowship in Bombay. So I was at uh, Jaslok Hospital, uh, PD Hinduja Hospital and then I came back to Ahmedabad. Uh, I was fortunate to uh, work in Gujarat's very first MRI, which I think was only fourth or fifth uh, equipment of its kind in India at the time. And for s next six straight years, it was the only MRI in the state of Gujarat, which is a big state of about 50 million people. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to work in that. So I uh, worked in MRI, I worked in CD scan. I used to do some diagnostic angiography. So I had a great time in India as a staff for about eight, nine years. And then in 1999, I uh, migrated to USA. I started on a fellowship in neuroradiology at University of Michigan, and then I stayed on as staff there. I mean, luckily I didn't have to do residency there. Uh, I got a waiver from American Board of Radiology. So uh, I did two years of fellowship, and then I stayed on as staff or a faculty at the University of Michigan. There are some differences and there are many similarities. So in both the countries, the residency route is uh, four years. Uh, in India, sometimes it is three years for MD and then you can do one year of a senior residency. Uh, but in USA, you have to do four years of residency. And that is doing after one year of uh, internship. But internship is actually part of our MBBS education in India. So in terms of number of years that you put in, there are a lot of similarities. But in terms of uh, overall uh, training, education, uh, the kind of expectations from uh, the radiology residents, I think there are uh, big differences. In terms of training, uh, if I remember correctly, when I was doing my residency, we had very little didactic lectures. So uh, most of the time, we learned when we were overlooking uh, our faculty, when they were doing daily extra reports. Uh, and we learned from basically watching them perform the duty of a radiologist. But at the same time, there were very few lectures, so to say. Now, currently at University of Michigan, where I'm working at, every resident actually has two lectures during the noon, so during the lunch hour, they take their lunch to a lecture hall and then uh, their one and a half hour of, uh, of talks given by faculty. At the same time, they have morning conferences to attend. So uh, they have at least one morning conference in different uh, parts. And in the afternoon, they take lead and present cases. Let's say in trauma bonds conferences, the residents will go and present it. Uh, in emergency radiology conferences, they'll be there. So in terms of uh, real didactics and um, kind of hand-holding, I think that system is much better, uh, or it used to be much better. Now, currently, I'm sure that at some institutes, there is very good training going on, but I'm just telling you from my personal experience.
uh, about the differences in training between the two countries. Now that is again a, a big part of um, the landscape in a way because in India uh, after doing your MD the exam is taken by the specific university so it changes from one university to another because the certification is by a local university while in USA there is a national board and that board takes exam for uh, for every radiologist. So they have a written board, which is the same all over the country. And uh, now they have computer-based exam, which again is very similar for everyone. So there is a certain standardization in, uh, in examination, in taking the exam, and of course in giving certification, which is based on the performance in exam, uh, which is very different because I remember that in India it kind of varies from state to state, institute to institute, while in USA that variation may be there in terms of training, but in terms of certification and exam, everyone is on the same level playing field. So that again is a, a big difference in a way, because uh, in India a, a, a resident is evaluated by faculty maybe once a year, and that is probably done by the head of the department or head of the division. Uh, while in USA there is constant evaluation and it's a two-way street. So a faculty gets to evaluate every resident every three months. So I write evaluation of a resident four times a year and it's anonymous. So in a way I can be very honest in uh, giving my opinion about what I really think uh, of the level of competence of a particular resident and it's, it's not only a harsh critic uh, you can also give uh, positive feedback about somebody's performance. At the same time, the residents get to evaluate every faculty at least once a year. And at the end of the year, they can again give anonymous feedback. So they, they, they generally end up speaking the truth about what they feel are the deficiency in teaching from that particular staff or faculty. So in a way, a faculty gets to improve upon himself because they get honest feedback and at the same time the residents also get very honest feedback from faculty without any personal acrimony. So I think that's a very beautiful system and it's all anonymous, it's all web-based uh, and it actually enhances the performance of a faculty as well as the resident. It ties in very tightly with evaluation because the expectation also vary, and in, expect, in terms of expectation, I have noticed that in India, uh, a lot of people learn by um, being self-motivated. Uh, there is not much of hand-holding. Uh, they, you know, read up the books, go on the web, ask questions, and uh, some of the good residents turn out to be great radiologists, while uh, while. Some of them don't perform too well, and system being what it is, they also get a certain pass, so to say, which means that um, they go through the system, but uh, the avenues of improvement are not great. While uh, in USA, the expectations are very clear cut, uh, there is a syllabus in every department. So when a resident enters the course, he knows that at the end of one year, this is the knowledge set he's supposed to acquire. At the end of second year, this is the knowledge set he's supposed to acquire. So the expectations are laid out on paper uh, by every division, every 11 divisions of radiology for a resident. And uh, they are closely monitored. So if somebody is not performing well uh, or sur somebody is surpassing expectation, everything uh, goes in a feedback loop and it is, uh, it, the, the whole report goes back to the resident. So that, that ties in a lot with the training that we talked about. Uh, I realized that the best radiologist in India is at par with the best radiologist in uh, USA or anywhere in the world, because these are all very self-motivated people who have put in a lot of efforts. Uh, they bring a lot of passion into what they are doing. But at the same time, if you take an average radiologist on the street uh, in India versus USA, because of this standardization, because of this enhanced training, and because of this constant feedback loop of expectations and realization of goals, I think an American radiologist comes out ahead 
as an average radiologist. So, um, so in a way, it, it, it's, it's funny because the best of Indian radiologist is best, is comparable to the best of American radiologists. Um, and then that's great. Uh, challenges are different um, in both the countries. So an American radiologist, the biggest challenge these days, uh, especially after this new Health Care Act called uh, Affordable Care Act, uh, some of them are not getting jobs as readily as they used to have. Uh, at the same time, there is dearth of private practice groups in USA now, so a lot of them have to take up hospital-based jobs. Uh, in India, again, um, a radiologist can start their own practice if they have money. The biggest challenge for them is to actually come up with the right amount of funds because radiology is, again, a very capital-intensive field. You have to invest a lot in equipment, and if you want to start your own private practice, uh, you need a lot of money, upstart money. Uh, while in USA, you don't have to be independ independently wealthy to start a practice. You can join a group and uh, give your professional services, and you will get reimbursed. So I think the challenges are kind of of different kind, and in both the countries, they are facing it in a different ways. I envy a lot about the Indian radiologists. What I envy about Indian radiologists is the ability, is the kind of freedom that they have to start their own center anywhere. So if I, if I have lined up my resources, and if I want to start an MRI center in the middle of nowhere, I can do that. Uh, I don't have to take any permissions. I just have to set up a shop and start advertising myself. While many states in the United States actually have a provision called certification of need. So if you want to start an MRI center, uh, anywhere in, in my state of Michigan, for example, then you have to acquire a government uh, uh, a certification. And that is based on a certain apprehension that the more numbers of radiological equipment in the market will drive up utilization of healthcare services and increase the healthcare cost. Uh, in India, the radiologists have that freedom, uh, which I really envy a lot.